Hey sisters, hey, a few days ago, I asked some of you all, what should we do as a collective as black women to make sure that the next four years we grow, we flourish, our children do, our spouses do, our lives, just for generations to come. And many of you all gave me great input, health, mental health, uh, um, spirituality, everything. And so I want to start with that. I want to, the first thing I want to start is with God, because everything, in my opinion, starts with God. And I want to ask you, those of you who attend church, is your pastor Caucasian? And if your pastor is a white male or female, have you ever heard them stand flat foot and firm in that pulpit and say, we renounce or we come against the spirit of racism, bigotry, sexism, and all the other hate? If you have never, ever heard your pastor even teach a sermon against racism, against hate, you might want to consider where you're worshiping. Because as the, as the leader, so is the flock. See, I've, me living in the South, I have attended a few churches like that. And the pastor, I even asked one a few times, why not address that? And all he would come back to me with was, well, we just want to speak on love. But see, sometimes love requires putting your foot down, standing up, being sometimes the truth. Not no, sometimes all the time. Love is not always, oh, I just love. We just got to love one another. No, I love you, so I need to correct you. I love you, be and I need to let you know you've been out of order. You've been out of line. And see, too many people, particularly white pastors, are afraid to do that. These evangelicals are so afraid to. And so then you have a congregation full of bigots who mask it, sitting in church for an hour and a half, listening to their <laughs> not inclusive music, just a bunch of guitars, same type of worship music. Like, come on, let's wake up, people. So again, I'm not telling you to leave your, your church, but if you have not heard your white pastor say anything against the racism that's going on in the land, consider where you're worshiping. That's all I got to say, ladies. So these next four years, it's going to be great. But we got to reevaluate some stuff now. And first importantly, most importantly is evaluate where you worship. And that goes if your pastor's black. If he is talking crazy or misogynistic or out of line and not sound doctrine, get out of there too. Too long has the church put their foot on our neck as women. I have never forget a time I was a part of a church and this young lady got pregnant out of wedlock. And they made that young lady come and stand in front of the church and apologize to the, to the church. That's crazy. The churches from the beginning of time have been always putting women down. The woman with the, um, who was caught in adultery in the Bible. They was ready to stone her. Where was the man? So women, we got to wake up. We give some sound doctrine. And so all I'm saying is, let these next four years, it's an awakening has already started. Just keep flowing in it. All right, y'all be blessed. Bye.